today what I'm going to show you is how to um, create transcriptions and how to edit your transcriptions using YouTube. To use your YouTube um, account, all you have to do is go to YouTube and log in in the upper right hand corner. And um, it brings you, you can log into your studio. <clears throat> in the upper right hand corner where your account is, um, you'll see a drop down that says YouTube Studio. Now, I usually um, have been using Google Meet, um, if you have an educational or business account, to create the transcriptions automatically of a video conference, like what I did um, for these interviews. But that feature has been turned off or disabled. So now I had to find, a, actually I didn't have to find it, I went back to the old method of just recording a video, um, whatever it may be, and uploading it to YouTube and letting it do the transcriptions automatically for you. Now you can use any video capture you want, as long as it makes a movie, right? And that you can upload to YouTube. Um, in this instance right now, for example, I'm using Windows Xbox Capture, which is built into Windows, all Windows computers. It's free, it's easy. Um, if you once again have um, a business or educational account in, actually you can even have a, I believe a custom domain or a private account. You can use Google Meet um, to record well, now that I say that, only the business and education accounts can record a Google Meet. But you could also use Skype, I believe, to capture um, video and then upload that as well. Um, on a Mac, I'm sure um, you can use iTunes, not iTunes, but iMovie, I should say, to capture it, and that should work as well. Once the video has been uploaded, it usually takes anywhere from you know a couple of hours to a day for the transcriptions to automatically be generated. And Google does a really good job. It's uh, very accurate now, um, and it can do it in many different languages. Now, I've logged into my YouTube Studio account already, and um, to, to get to this feature, you just need to go to the videos library um, on the left-hand side. This will show all the videos that you've uploaded. And um, you can see I have a couple of interviews already uploaded here. So I'm going to use one of those as an example. So um, if you hover over it, um, you can go to the little details marker here. Um, a point that I want to bring up is that in the new YouTube studio, um, I'm not really sure if you can edit the transcriptions. I haven't found it. If you know where it's at, maybe you can add it in the comment section of this video but um, it will prompt you anyway to go to the classic YouTube Studio Editor, which I'll show you in a second. So you just want to find in the video details the section that says More Options. It's kind of the, the hidden tab, I like to call it, because it doesn't really look like a tab. Um, once you're on this page, you can scroll down just a little bit to the Language section, and in, in a very small hypertext link here where it says Subtitle, you can click on that, um, and this is where you will have your automatic uh, default language transcription. I believe YouTube automatically detects the language. Um, it may take your default language automatically. I'm not really sure because English is my default language and I haven't really played with it. But um, it can do a transcription in any language that you choose. But for now, I'm just going to show you, you can just do add language if you want to. I'm going to go all the way to the right hand side uh, column that says subtitles, click on the three dots and do edit in classic studio. Once that is um, up, you'll see the survey. Um, and um, by default, you'll see kind of how it looks. There's a, an upper right hand corner, edit and unpublish. Um, once I start editing this, the unpublish changes to save. Um, so you will have to save it when you are finished, and it does take a little time to process the new transcription um, or your edits. And so on the left-hand column area here, you'll see the actual transcription. So I'll go ahead and click on Edit. Give it a second. Survey. It's like, okay, and it kind of, you know, jumps back and forth. That's fine. You'll see little areas, and what's nice about this is when you click in each one of these little boxes, it will jump the playhead to the timestamp within your video. You can also just click or drag the, uh, the timeline bar here 
to get to the specific area you want to go to. Also, it's really nice as you can see when uh, things are coming up in specific areas with, by the timestamp just by looking at the histogram of the audio, which is a nice feature. But as you're playing the um, video here, I hit survey. Play. It's like five questions, I think, or something. I saw the survey you sent me. I did the survey you sent me, yeah. Okay, there's a survey and then there's a, the demographic survey. It's like so you can see by when you find a, a something you want to change, I just hit the pause right here. I just keep my mouse hovered over play and um, pause. You can't use the space bar because it will actually, if you're in one of these text boxes and you're playing the video and you hit space to pause the video like you typically would in an editor, it actually puts a space in there. It doesn't stop the video. So I just keep my mouse hovered over the play pause. And really you just go in there and uh, you know, when you find something you want to add, you can, you know, add um, punctuation, you can change words, uh, you can do whatever you want. You know, like going to ask, I could say going to ask, right? Uh, whoops, I spelled it. It's kind of nice because it gives you the, the typo as well, right? Um, oh my god, my computer is really slow. Sorry, the keyboard is not very good. Um, by the way, I'm doing this on a Surface Go, so um, very weak computer, but for video editing and transcriptions using YouTube, it takes no processing power whatsoever. So you don't need a powerful big computer to do this. Um, and it's relatively quick. Uh, I usually can do a 20, 30 minute video, you know, probably in the same amount of time that it's actually playing, you know. so. Instead of paying someone to do it, you could just do it yourself. It's pretty quick and easy. So I hope you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll look forward to um, YouTube actually adding uh, you know, this feature into the new YouTube studio.